Cats are so infatuated by boxes, aren't they? I guess if I was a cat, I'd probably love boxes too. No, whatever, whatever does it for the cat. I am very excited. So last year when I had my got my allotment in the mail, I was really kind of unsure of what I wanted or I, I you know, I was just trying to it was a trial experience. So this year I am absolutely positive I want every single item in this box. I still maybe think I'm trying out like two new discs or something. Get this camera to stay, hopefully. All right, there we go. Barring I don't bump the table or something. Oh, I see what they did here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first. Oh, I just love unboxing stuff. It never gets old. No. Oh, and I know what these are right away. So, if you've watched my in the bag and stuff, you know pretty much what I throw and, and things. So I'll kind of give you some impact things and, and tell you about why these discs and, and what made me order each one. So first of all, I have my lovely Proton Traces here. I think I ordered, yeah, I got quite a few of these. This one specifically, I have two in my bag that look exactly like this currently. So the trace is, is the easiest point and shoot disc that, I, I mean, anyone can throw it. You could have, you could throw 250 and enjoy it, or you could throw 500 and enjoy it. It's just an easy to throw disc. And this is what I throw for my turnover disc. I know I can just instantly get one out of the gate, especially the Proton, pop it up, go flat, turn over a little bit, even just finish pretty straight. Just a absolute woods tunnel sh just any shot shaping disc when I when I need to make a specific line or specific shot where it needs to turn a little bit the trace is always going to have my back and I I love this disc for that next I have two plasma photons these are really great too so the reason I like these these will come in handy for like early in the year my forehand isn't quite where I want it to be I feel like the plasma photon they wants to pop up and go over a bit for me and just give me nice full glide potential. They're also a little bit faster than the trace and a little bit more of a stable. So if it's a bit windier, it's my next step up for uh, the early months of the year. All right, next I have two plasma Teslas. So the plasma Tesla, it, it became a staple in my bag. It's really good up to about maybe maybe 430 to me i could push it further but this is another really good wood shot shaping disc i feel like the plasmas are a bit more forgiving than the proton and the neutron so uh if you watch my videos too i actually lost one of these a few weeks ago so i'm happy to get a couple more to try i really like these in the wind very dependable discs uh anywhere from 360 to like i said 420 maybe 430 40 something like that anywhere in that range i'm feeling pretty comfortable with this disc Oh, I forgot about these. These are really sick. So also, it's funny that I just was talking about that disc that I lost. I also lost a plasma fireball. And, you know, our customer support is so great. I was able to email them and ask if they had any of these anywhere in the warehouse. And I found two and they're absolutely sick. This one's nice and pearly. And this actually looks exactly like the one I lost. So I am very excited to try these fireballs out. It's a big hole in my bag I'm missing right now. So I'll probably pop this instantly in my bag right after this video. They gave me four of these swirly soft anodes. These are my favorite throwing putter. Hands down favorite. That's filthy too. It's an ion, nice and swirly. Ooh, yes. And I put with these ions, so for some reason, I feel like the, the swirly ones just give me a little bit different of a flight. All max weight too, perfect. This always feels like Christmas. Never gets old. All right, next we have some plasma Teslas here. 
like I said, I, I I really like the plasma Tesla. I mean, I'm sorry, plasma. I'm saying plasma. I mean, proton. I really found out I like the proton Tesla. So I thought it, maybe I ordered more than three, but either way, these are great. I already kind of talked about the Tesla, so no need to really get into that. All right, and I definitely talked about these two already uh, in some of my videos. These are my full distance max power putter shots, the uh, Eclipse Envies. So I can never have enough of these, especially when I'm, these are ones where I'll get a bit risky over water and stuff. And I definitely popped a couple in the drink this year, so it's good to replenish the supply on those. Oh, this is sweet. All right, so these are matrixes. I can't ever have enough of these. Two in the 170s, and I actually got one light one because uh, once again, emailed the warehouse and asked if they had any in the back or anything. So I was able to get a couple of these. I'm interested to see what this 165 is gonna fly like. Uh, it could be the most understable thing ever, or it could just be shockingly overstable. So the, the reason the Matrix too, uh, I bagged five of these. I love the Matrix. It is my absolute just go-to mid-range. Uh, it, it's it could be straight, it could be understable, and it could be overstable, just depending on the plastics. And now with the Electron in the lineup, uh, you, you get such a variety of shots. And the Electron, I never really did a review on it yet. Uh, I don't think at least, but I'm not sure if I will. But regardless, they it's, it starts out super, super beefy, and then you kind of pop a tree with it, and mine has this really big, it has like a big hump right off the rim, and it made the disc into the straightest thing ever, so it's really cool how that works. So you kind of get the, a big variety of, of shot shaping with the, with the uh, matrixes, but it's definitely my go-to mid-range. All right. Check this lovely new Voyager Pro version 2 out. So I needed a new bag uh, for this year and my wife actually just got me a cart for Christmas. But you know, there's about 40% of the courses or so you can't really pull the cart around too easily. So this bag is gonna be nice. It's supposed to be lighter than the previous Voyager. So very excited about that. And I'm gonna show you what discs they, some more discs I got in my allotment here. So here's another uh, Eclipse Envy. And then I was digging the overstable flight of the Cosmic Volt, so I went ahead and grabbed another one here. Especially with the shock being out of production, this will end up my bag eventually. All right, let's open up this main compartment here. Rainfly, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down. Okay. All right, here is a couple Neutron Matrixes. As I already stated before, you know, why I really love the Matrix. These Neutrons are a little more overstable, so I don't go through them quite as much, so I only got a couple, but good discs. Oh, these are sick. Check that bolt out. It's got really profound swirls in it. And then a nice, like, kind of chill pink swirly one. All right. So I got a couple drifts here. I really became fond of the drift for flip over rollers. It's also super easy to throw just straight backhand shots, pop-up shots, uh, or even out of trouble flick shots. It'll hold, you know, big Anheusers and things really easily. And I've never tried the Cosmic ones, so I'm going to check those out. And then I have a lift here. Lift is something I've been kind of toying around with. Uh, I want something the same speed as a Tesla that's more understable. And with the new Volt flying more similarly to the old Shock, I think the lift will... Find a good place there for that spot. Here's one more drift. This one's super cool. All right. 
Oh, it's my favorite part here. I love runways and these are so cool. Look at these. These Cosmics are just so nice. And so the runway is my absolute workhorse disc for flicking and backhanding. Uh, I think I, I have four aces in the last year with runways. It's just my utility go-to upshot and off the tee 300 or less disc. Uh, it's also my wind disc. I mean, I could throw this thing over 300, but there's, there's not really need to. But I really, really love the runway. All right, last but not least. So I have got a stockpile of drivers throughout the season. I have a bunch of team stamp panics, team stamp nitros and octanes. Uh, so everything I got here is pretty much, I'm just filling gaps on what I need. So if you've watched my in the bags, I love nitros. Literally take the runway and make it go 200 more feet. You got the nitro. I'm a huge fan of the Octane, especially like the, the newer molds as of maybe a year ago or so. Uh, they can handle a big rip, especially Tailwind. You can throw these things a mile. So a couple Neutron Octanes. What the heck? These are sweet. You're not gonna be able to see with the, actually you can kind of see. Yeah, you see like the break there between the plastics? This is really cool. I don't think I have any panics like this. And they sent me them and they both have that rim. I like this teal one. I'm uh, very excited to try those out. So yeah, this has been my allotment video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't done it in the bag video since last August, so I will probably do one of my next couple videos. But thanks as always for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And see ya.